All right, so the empirical formula. Now, notice, okay, you look on your problem, number one. You've got 3.611 grams of calcium, 6.389 grams of chlorine. Now, uh, I want you to just write that down. That's, that's the first thing, so... So you've got 3.611 grams of calcium, 6.389 grams of chlorine. Now, right there, that doesn't tell you much. All the problem is asking you is simply saying, find the empirical formula of each of the following compounds. The given masses are for each element in a sample of the compound. So here's what they did. This is basically saying that they took how many grams? What does that add up to right there? Ten. So it adds it to ten. This is this is them basically saying, here's the deal. We had a ten gram sample of this compound. We did some analysis and found that three point six grams of it were calcium, six point three or six point four grams were chlorine. We need to know what the formula is, though, what the ratio is here. So what we're gonna do is figure that out. Now, there's three steps to this, and, I, and in these notes, I want you to write the steps down exactly as I show them to you so you know how to do this. Okay, step one. Okay, step one is convert the masses to moles. So you convert masses to moles. That means you are just going to do two mass to mole problems. Now, I'll show you this chart one time as a reminder. So if you look again, probably tired of seeing this, but if you're going from mass to moles, you're going to divide by the mass off the periodic table. So what is calcium's mass off the periodic table? I know what it is. It's 40.08 grams of calcium. One mole. Yes, you do this for both of them? Yep. Preferably be neat, too. Stay organized because you're going to have to use the data you're getting here. Uh, chlorine is 35.45 grams off the periodic table. Now, what do these numbers come out to be? I think I remember them, but I don't, I'm not sure if I remember them that well. Never mind, I got it. So, we have 0 0.09 moles of calcium and you have 6.389 divided by 35.45. Okay, that provides 1.8 uh, moles of chlorine. Okay, that's step one. Anybody got questions on how step one was just done? We're good? Okay. Step two. Step two is the part that's new. Now here's what this involves. It involves dividing by, and I'm just going to sort of title it like this, dividing by the smallest mole value. So step two is divide. So we're dividing each by the smallest mole value. Now what that means is, is this. You've only got two elements here. You've got calcium and you've got chlorine. There might be some problems where you have three or four or five, whatever. You can deal with that when you get to there. Right now, which of these two numbers is smaller? Are we sure? Does everybody agree? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty obvious. Calcium is smaller, right? So what you're going to do, you're going to take calcium. You're going to divide that value of calcium by, in this case, itself, because that's the smaller of the two values. You don't have to label anything here because we're just finding the ratio. So there's no units here. So what is our number, obviously? One. one. Yeah. So one calcium. Now chlorine, divide that. What does that come out to be? Two. two. So step three in this case is quite simple. Now you actually determine empirical formula. 
So, I mean, pretty obviously, uh, which element's going to come first in our formula? Is it going to be chlorine or calcium? Calcium. How do you know it's calcium? No, I think it's going to be chlorine and then calcium because chlorine is Pardon me, Indeed? You're correct, sir. Calcium is a positive ion. It's a cation. Remember, we always write cations first. Now, how many of those do we have? One. So you just write calcium. You don't need to put a subscript. Just, But just for the heck of it, I'll put one there to show you. Now, chlorine comes second. We got two of them, so write a two there. So it's just CaCl2. That's our empirical formula. So we did all that to figure that out. Now, obviously this worked out really nicely and easily. Realistically, will it every time? No. So I'm going to show you one where it doesn't work out as easily. So first, are there any questions on this one? What if there's fractions? Define, what do you mean? So, 